video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a sort of zigzag cat design. Well, it could be anything. Obviously, you don't have to have used cats, but there's a free selection of cats, custom shaped cats, available on the Graphic Extras website. So you can use those in this tutorial. I say using custom shapes, but first, before I do anything to create this sort of op art design, I'm actually going to just create a background. So, rectangle tool and just apply that as a shape layer just go over there shape now these are standard patterns you should be able to see them on your uh, patterns if not you can quickly create obviously a thin line design now just gonna go the other direction so I'll just select that one yeah I want that way up and down and I'm going to increase the size so you can actually see them so you can actually see the lines right so once you've actually scaled them you've got these lines now I'm just going to go to go to the toolbox just like that and layer and flatten image so they basically it's now a flattened image and I'm going to apply a filter which is the zigzag so filter distort and a zigzag now as you can obviously set it as much as you want as little as you want I'm just going to go for a fairly basic setting I'm just gonna just yeah I'll go for that click OK so now you've got that sort of like zigzag ripple sort of weird distortion now what I want to do next is to add the cat to it so to create a sort of op art effect I mean it's pretty op art already so now just going to go to custom chat tool like I said these are free cats there's a whole there's a selection of five they're free and just going to go one with that's got the most fill so it's probably that one there now what I'm going to do is a shape again custom shape and I'm going to go for the other direction so just going to add the shape and it's actually quite hard to see you can just about see the lines of the shape and it's actually going the other direction now which is what I want I want to create it so it's not going the same I want it 90 degrees so again you've got the same thing you've got the fill and it's just set there and I'm going to set the scale and again you could just do that and actually you don't even have to go any further actually you could actually just use that as not part I'm just going to move that around that's pretty uh, unusual as well but what I'm going to do I'm actually going to apply the zigzag filter to that so distort and zigzag convert to smart object and I'm going to just so just so you can see the cat is warped as well so you can warp that around and you can obviously apply as much or as little as you want so and again just there you've got that zigzag sort of cat and again like I say you can you can even apply it again if you wish you can go in zigzag and distort zigzag distort it even more but uh, anyway I think you can go so so far right so what you can do once you've done that you've actually got the, the cat and you can actually move the, the cat around you can create a quite very painful sort of odd as it's warps across the image and of course you could obviously change the blending modes if you wish I mean it's dark and then obviously you get these sort of lines which creates an interesting sort of sketched like effect as well and so on and so on but I think it's best as normal and of course if you wish you can always add a layer layer style maybe a drop shadow or maybe a bevel to the, the cat to make it stand out a bit more from the design or maybe a stroke but of course it's up to you so cancel that and there you have it got a nice sort of op art zigzag cat which works perfectly with a nice zigzag background as well hope you found this